Today's video is going to be showing you how I got my sleek ponytail look. If you're looking forward to that, be sure to stay tuned. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and a comment below if you try it out or if you have any other techniques that you would like me to try. And this is a, again, this is a, or I didn't mention, but this is a glueless process. So this is no glue, no wrapping. Um, the wrap stuff, I forget what it's called, but the black wrap stuff. This is a no glue, easy, maximum 20 minute process as you continue to do it. So yeah, this is a glueless ponytail um, process. As you can see, I'm running my hands through it. Very secure. So if you're looking forward to it, let's get into it. Hey y'all, <laughs> I know I look crazy. All right. So I was supposed to, my thing won't stay. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. All right, y'all. So I was supposed to record a get ready with me, right? But my phone had, was doing some malfunction type of thing. So long story short, I already got my hair into, I feel like I got to fix that. Cause now that I see it on camera, I want it to be like swoop, lady to the gods. Okay, but now that I'm on, um, I already swooped my hair back. I already put my hair back. So the strategy I use to do a low ponytail, slick back ponytail, is I use. I'm gonna just describe it to y'all because I couldn't get it on camera. So y'all gonna have to, you're gonna have to bear with me in this this under eye thing because obviously we we just hanging in there like literally. But I don't want my under eyes to look good. Like what's going on? Okay, one second. Use Eco Styling Gel, and then I use my brush, my Denman brush, and I keep combing it. I'm gonna keep brushing it, brushing it, brushing it, brushing it, brushing it. Even as you can see, I got a little bit of a, a piece right there. I'm no hairstylist. I do what looks good, what looks clean, what looks presentable and cute for um for my photos, for my evening, for my outing. You know, if I wanted to be a hairstylist, I would learn the different techniques. I'm aware of the, um, what's that called? You use the, you brush it or you use, you do this part, brush it into a ponytail, do the next part, brush it into the ponytail, then do this next top part, brush it in ponytail, and you just got to be glue and all that. Again, for my curly hair girls, I'm all about protecting our curls. And for me, just swooping it down, as you can see, you can still see it's a little bit wavy and whatever. I'm not, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for, oh, I'm cute. I'm cute, you know? So, again, so, and y'all gonna bear with me. I'm eating my oatmeal. So, I already got my hair. I already got my hair into the, um, pine cow. So, another reason why I started filming this video is because I wanted to be a get ready with me. But it's also going to be some some spiritual talk to get us right. So, because it's Sunday while I'm recording this. And I had a couple um, thoughts that I wanted to share to get people right. So I said, look, why not film a get ready with me spiritual talk? How about that? So as y'all can see, this hair is, is a little bit, a couple pieces looking a little bit trifling. So we, we're going to get that right. And um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm do what it do. Um, and y'all probably gonna think this crazy. And even when y'all see my ponytail in, I can't lie to y'all. This hair is synthetic hair, and I've had this ponytail piece for a good solid. It's 2022 right now. A good solid for maybe going on five years like this hair and i'm gonna insert a picture so y'all can see this hair been rocking with like and i can't find it again it's model model though it's model model 16 18 20 inch closure and i lost the, the front part or i threw out the front part with the girl you know how we usually have an image of her Probably if I go up north, back towards, you know, Jersey City, where I'm from, I could probably find 
real hair that I'm looking for or hair that's similar to this because now where I live right now we in the boondocks you know they, they got the basics they got braiding hair or if I go to Philly and I don't feel like going to Philly I would rather go to but okay so and once I get the hair right I'm gonna get to the spiritual talk part all right y'all I was able to get my life together even though they're still struggling you know it want me to have bags under my eyes but anyway okay so this is going to be the first layer the bottom piece that i'm gonna put in and um i'm like i'm telling y'all this this um set that i got that's synthetic and i've had it for four years maybe going on five i'm gonna I'm proofread the, the dates it's kind of crazy because i've worn this hairstyle least like over 10 times even got into a fight that's bad that's a different story line for a different day but even got this thing pulled out like it's crazy so the fact that the fact that it still look good and i know y'all can see it look good i understand yes then out i paid 30 dollars for this piece 30 dollars like it's been the best and i don't know in the factory what they might have did if I, they just was having a lucky day of how they made the synthetic I think it's a mixed blend though. I think it's a hybrid blend. But $30. Crazy. Only thing I would wish is that it was a little bit um like it matched right there. And the only reason why I match is because right I had to put gel on my hair to make it darker. If you've seen my other videos, you definitely know my hair is lighter. Even down here, you can tell that it's lighter. So sometimes even there is a little bit light. So but yeah. So I'm just straighten it. Get your hair nice and smooth. Looking good. So the method in which I do, as you can see, this is two separate tracks. So the method in which I do, it's already bent and folded because right, I've been doing this for plenty of times now. And what's crazy is the I was in Miami and this girl, um, I didn't know her, but Basically, she had, I was doing my ponytail and she was telling me, or I guess she was a hairstylist, she's from Chicago, so shout out to you girl, I don't know where ever cross paths, I don't remember her name is. But she had did this method, cause before I used to just take all of it and wrap it up here. But she was like, no, you gotta you gotta feed into it. And, and at the time, right, I don't use the wrap thing around my hair and then glue it, because right, I'll just be wearing this for one night, so she you take the bobby pin so as you can see i just put it through i put it through like that it's probably not clear so you literally just take the bobby pin i'm gonna just do another one you take the bobby pin you take the bobby pin and push up like that or you get both pieces but you push it through both pieces like that so once you do that you so i already got it on the tracks and it's easier it's easier when it's like a closed end like this versus like two strips because if it's on the closed end the bobby pin is just gonna sit on the closed end but because this is two separate tracks it's probably not and i'm probably gonna have to take this out but that was just so my ends could stay closed while i get to this part so now you push the bobby pin up you push it up into the braid so that's why it's essential for your braid to be as smooth as possible so i'm actually gonna wrap it this way so now i'm gonna just start the wrapping process and you're literally wrapping it around your braid it will be the same thing see y'all can probably see my braid is like that little piece right there so you just start wrapping and wrap and that's why it was key for you to straighten it a little bit and get your part right because as you're doing this wrapping process, it probably could get a little bit um, messed up. So I'm pulling mine as tight as possible. And as you're wrapping, you're like very incrementally going up the braid. But at the bottom, I, I wrap it real tight and I stay close to the bottom because as you'll see, when I'm brushing my hair and moving my hair, I don't want it to be moving weird. So even as I'm wrapping up, I'm go I'm moving up in the bobby pin. 
and I don't want it to be thin either because the other thing is if you wrap if you try to wrap too fast I mean if you try to go up too fast your your ponytail gonna be too thin it's, it's not gonna look right it's not gonna be evenly uh, distributed so I'm gonna just keep going up I said this is gonna be a spiritual talk but I think I might have to share it on a different day or I want to make a separate video for that because maybe there's not the right content for the right people. But what I wanted to talk about was that faith without works is dead. And I think sometimes we, um, I feel like I got to explain the braid thing. That's why I feel like I can't, I can't share the good news, the good word with y'all. I'm gonna, I might share that then. I'm going to stop for a second so y'all can even see what's going on. But you're still wrapping it tight. And the key to wrapping it tight, you can wrap it loose. But the key to wrapping it tight, I'm going to be putting my fingers through it multiple times. I know I am. Or even when I'm straightening it, pulling it, all of that. So that's why you will want... I'm gonna show y'all in a second. All right, so I'm getting close to these ends. So as I'm getting close to this end, this is when you start to get your next piece ready. My next piece not ready. So I'm gonna just clip this right here for a second. Boom, it's clipped. All right, clipped. My next piece is actually over here. It still got the bobby pin in it from last time, like I told y'all, because I'm I knew to this I'm true to this and this is what I was saying when it's in a circle so you see how it's closed to it's, it's way easier to start the next piece when it's like that so again I'm straighten it So this is when it's gonna be key. You see that it's a little bit matted. I'm gonna get my um, brush and comb and just comb it out. Mm. It's crazy, y'all. I keep telling y'all. As crazy as it seemed to y'all, and as crazy as it seemed to me, that this piece of hair is still like um four years old all right so we're gonna take this piece so this is what's essential this next part you gotta make sure you thread it through and thread it onto the braid so that's that's the next piece of um <laughs> surgery so i'm gonna start on top right here instead of looping it to the back so y'all can see so i'm gonna take that and I, I realized I didn't even share. I probably got to take these things off now. let say leave it on for 10 minutes. Um, I will say a different review for these. I really do like these. And I feel like they are making a difference in regards to my under eye. Um, my alarm kept going off. All right. So it's, it's already tight. Like even how I'm pulling, it's not. It's because the bobby pin. So I'm going to try to go back and come back. So, so. Again, we wrap in tight. Another key when you wrap in tight sometimes, like especially when I first put it in, I wrapped it tight and I'm staying in the same area because as I'm moving up, again, I don't want the tracks to start sliding. So now I'm moving up. I'm starting to move up, starting to move up. Because again, I got three other pieces, but I still have a lot of braid to cover. So that's why it's like, I, I, I don't know, maybe like a, a nail length maybe like a nail length that's how much I'm moving up it's 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 hard to judge but after a couple times you'll get it right and I'll say there's even been times where I didn't evenly distribute the hair and I had to do it again I had to unwrap it those are the worst that right now I have time those times there's been times where it's like I literally need to make it somewhere by a certain time because of reservations and I'm literally like, oh my God, this hair is killing me. This hair is literally gonna make me late. But today I hope 
that's not the case and that's why i started a bit early because like i don't want to my 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 slick pony my phone dying i don't want my slick pony looking a mess my hair getting a bit twisted too so let me um so another key is right just run your hands and what i do i bend i start bending the braid because right i want the ponytail to sit naturally not all looking all crazy So good. I don't know why that look like that right there. It says that look a little crazy. So I'm gonna come back. I think that the hair got twisted. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, I'm getting closer to the ends. So this is when you get your next piece ready. That. Take the bobby pin again just to put it in place while I'm getting my my piece of hair, my next piece of hair. And as y'all can see, we have probably like that much of hair left. So I got this piece. Oh, well, this is really I think the ending cover up part. But I got these two pieces that I think will still be alright. So I start to do a check. It feels um, good in my opinion. I think I'm straight. I hope I'm straight. Again, it's gonna get covered up. It's gonna start getting thicker around it. So I start combing it just to make sure it's laying nice. I get my straightener before I get more hair put on top of it to straighten it some more. This piece been piecing. So how much we did so far? We did about that much hair. That much of the ponytail. So I just run my hands through it again because I want it to lay right. I want it to be when I'm moving, when I'm going side to side. It's looking all right. Now for some people, this idea of ponytail be looking naturally. They just be doing this amount. For me, I like mine looking thick and full. So again, I'm just um, bending my hair. This bobby pin piece is ready. So I gotta get this um, next piece ready. So I think we are, if these are the height, this is gonna be the top one. We're moving in with this one next. All right, so I'm about here. So I probably have about what, this much more of braid to cover Ready. i feel like i should be straight i feel like this piece yeah this piece is longer than i thought or it might not be and i have this this must be from that fight i was telling y'all about but i'm telling you this is how all the hair looked all the hair was looking like this it was looking like this and i made it get back to this i'm telling you this it's the truth all right this might be done now mm, look at that Looking flawless, ageless. <laughs> do you know what else I be thinking about this hair? What if they made a mistake and gave me real hair? They might have gave me human hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. So since this piece is down, I'm going to try to show y'all. I probably have to go underneath right here. Point is to get the bobby hair huh? <clears throat> a little bit harder with these nails. That's how sometimes I don't even know how people, how ladies be um, doing it with the nails. All right, so I got it on piece. I don't know if y'all can see. I might have just enough. Okay, so that's the end of this piece. Oof. Again, you try to it's probably hard because the ponytail be so tight now with all the tracks so now I'm just wrapping now I've come up though I've come up as you can see I'm up in that braid I mean I'm up at the top of that braid so I might just have just enough 
uh, I'm hoping that I do. Even though I feel, mm, I feel a little, a little, mm, I might have to get that other piece right real quick. Because, right, I don't want my ponytail looking crazy. I ain't gonna be able to see it until. Uh-oh. It might be I. Right. I'm gonna have to take a picture though to see what we're working with. I still straighten it. And it could be nice and smooth. But visually, this is how we would look. This is how we looking. So I'm getting it straightened. I'm getting them ends feeling good. You know, I'm going to be touching it all night. Whipping it back and forth. Mm. So yeah, this visually, this look good. Now, as far as that piece back there, I'm, I'm, I'm about to see what's going on. Give me a second. I'm still. I could definitely feel my braid in there, so you will always want to make sure. I probably if I could comb through, y'all could probably see the braid. But the key is, I don't want y'all to see the braid. So that's why I'm combing right now to get any malfunctions out of the way. So again, it might be straight, but for extra precaution, I'm even. Ah! Look at God. God, <laughs> like I told y'all, I was gonna start this video. What works, faith when that works is dead. Woo, I got faith in the my God. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take this track, and instead of doing double, I'm gonna go one way. Oh, look at God, <laughs> that's why. That's why I say my God is good. My God is really good. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all what I was trying to tell y'all. And I'll still make it into another video. A long story short, I was going to say how people are always talking about faith without works is dead, right? And yes, that part is true. Faith without works really is dead. That we have to put in the work. So, you know, I'm believing in for... I have faith that God is going to give me, you know, a summer ready beach body. And I hate to make these things like goal oriented, but maybe that's how some people faith is. And I've had things that I'd be having faith with, like, Lord, please, can I get a new job, please? Right? Whatever it is. I'm saying that to say we, we have to have faith and believe that God can do these things, but we have to put forth the work to achieve these things, right? They don't just drop out of the sky. But when people say, faith without works is dead a lot of times people are thinking about the physical work that they have to put in but there is also still the spiritual work that we need to put in which is getting to know him better being in his word but prayer prayer is key in essential and that's that's the works that i wanted to focus on or emphasize or point out that when we say that scripture and that scripture is james 2 14 that that's that's also a part of it what about our prayer in regards to when we're praying to God? Because another key thing about faith, faith is the what we hope for, but what is not seen. And, and it requires believing in God. And when we believe in God, what does that mean? That we believe him to be true. And like his word said, let the Lord be true and every man be a liar. So for me, for me, I was believing. Y'all didn't know it. Y'all ain't know it, but I had it in my head. I said, you know what? I already recorded this video. I already didn't get the front part of the ponytail. But I was believing this ponytail was going to come through. I was, And I already showed y'all what I was working with. But I still had faith that I was going to bring this back to life too. But I looked down. Woo, I looked back in that bag. I seen this part crumpled up too. But I believed it. I had faith. I, I That's the thing about me. Or, uh, to share I know this video is is, is probably uh, different than most get ready with me or watch my hair video but I have the spiritual gift, gift of faith I be believing I'm telling you I be believing we going to the moon and people be like how where and it be happening so my point is <laughs> trust and believe faith without works is dead we have to pray about it we have to put in the work but a key part about the work is about us praying and continuously praying even when it seems like it's not true. Even when it seems as though um, 
what you're praying for um, seems impossible because we serve a, a, a possible God. A God that can turn water into wine, make people walk on water, make old people have kids, people that are deemed um, not to be of society terms, be kings and, and people that take over. So I say that to say, y'all just seen it here. Y'all seen it. But I'm gonna tell y'all in my head, I believed it. I was like, I was like, God, make, make this funny tell video work because God knows I don't, I haven't been recording videos for a while because of malfunctions like this or I don't have time. But I was like, Lord, I really want to record one today. But I knew I had to do my hair, so I knew it couldn't be how I normally record my videos. But look, look what God did. Came through. Like he always do. <laughs> so back to my ponytail real quick. I'm going to give glory to God. But back to the ponytail, y'all. So now it's not going to be as thin. So I'm going to take... I'm going to take um, this piece. And this is probably when I wouldn't use a bobby pin. So I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to have it um, down. I'm going to have it down, but I'm going to try to lay it on the piece that I was just on. And I might need a bobby pin. But I'm hoping that I can wrap it strategically. And I don't need one. And that's all in the key of one piece on top of the other and the reason why y'all still might be wondering why i was saying it's gonna be too thin because remember you still gotta wrap a piece of hair around this rim and around your your actual ponytail piece so that it looks nice and smooth and i don't have no braiding hair that's this color that i would be able to wrap that around or something like that so that's why this part and this extra piece of hair came clutch so now right i'm just making it tight as possible so then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this piece of hair i'm gonna separate it oh i don't know if y'all can see i separated it i wish my mirror i wish i put my mirror knots out. So I might have to just take this real quick. Mm-hmm. 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 Alright. So this is the piece. Remember that I'm going to be wrapping around this top part. I'm going to be wrapping it around, wrapping it around. That we could look like a cohesive a cohesive pony, you know. And I'm hoping it's cute. I'm gonna still have to do a, a photo test because I'm that person, I'm not walking outside looking a mess. And maybe if I was going to a nightclub or something like that, then yeah, it wouldn't matter. Because sometimes you can't see what's out there. So, like y'all can see, I'm just wrapping this around, and I can feel a piece of traffic has come out, so I'm happy. Mm -hmm. So, I can definitely feel a piece of track that has slipped out. Okay. 
So I'm gonna get my brush. I'm gonna brush it out. But it's looking cute. And y'all might still be wondering what am I doing with this? I'm about to straighten this to have my the idea of that my hair is you know flat even though I'm a curly hair girl so we got that let me try to get on the edge got the edge a little bit okay we got something <laughs> let me get my other little fly away this one's probably longer because I probably took out more hair so you get that right we got we got that right okay this one if I could take out more hair So right, you want to get your get your front, get your hair. Some people be doing like coilies. I usually do that. I usually get, a, I make it straight because again, my hair. Y'all yeah, have seen how tight my curls are. Okay. And yes, I have in two different earrings. I just realized. So I'm gonna have to get that right. So. Voila! <laughs> all right let me show y'all i'm gonna turn around let me stop fake flexing because it might look a mess and i ain't even see it and i'm out here talking about <laughs> all right again i'm just combing this part because so i'm gonna have to back the camera up so y'all can see and I'm gonna I'm see what my back looking like. So don't be judging me right now because I ain't even see what my hair look like. But from the front, I'm looking cute. <laughs> I'm looking like new, new, new hair who this? Ooh, look, look, see, I'm talking, I'm talking too much. Again, I still didn't, I ain't see what my back look like. So don't, don't be talking about me on my video. Cause again, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna get the gel. I'm gonna put the gel, let the hair stay down. I ain't get to that part yet. I ain't get to that part yet. But right now, we looking cute. <laughs> All right, be back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Your girl is back. Let me show y'all the finished part. <laughs> Tracks will. But anyway, let me show y'all. Y'all, I don't need y'all to come for my, my hair up here. I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna put bobby pins. And again, I'm not a professional. This is right. From the side view, cute. Cute. Front view, cute. Other side, cute. Nobody shouldn't be taking a picture of my hair back there. And if they taking a picture, go ahead. That's me. But anyway, so like y'all could see, and I know I'm shivering too, cause I'm cold and I just chugged down some water. Um, but yeah, I was able to get my, 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 my hair right. I got my hair right. Again, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get some gel and, and put this down the flyaways and pin it down so it could be less hump. And then, yeah, that's it. So really hope that y'all enjoyed my ponytail. I probably didn't even show y'all. I probably had to stand up. Let me get my phone. I'm not sure that's right. But if I stand up so y'all can see, so it comes all the way down, all the way down there. And yeah, it comes all the way down. So that's how I like mine. I like my ponytail very long, as you can see. So yeah, ah, so cute. So that's the end of this video. Really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll try to um, next time make sure I film the top part on how I get it into the ponytail, but for real, it's really just a regular 